Hi everyone, this video will help you install and get started with Oracle Database Express Edition 21C on Windows. To get started, we can go to our web browser and type in oracle.com slash exe to bring up the Oracle Database Express Edition web page. From there, we can click on the download link to go to the download page and then choose to download Oracle Database Express Edition for Windows. Once you've downloaded the .exe zip file, extract it and go into the directory that contains the installation files. Now before we run setup.exe, let's talk about some prerequisites that are required. Before you install, you'll need to make sure of a few things. First of all, Temporarily unset any Oracle underscore home and TNS underscore admin environment variables. You'll need to unset these at the system level. Next, you need to make sure that there's no existing XE service on this machine, for example, from a prior install. Finally, the user must be a direct member of the administrators group. Being a member of one group, and then that group being a member of the administrators group is not sufficient. And if you're logged into Windows as a domain user, make sure you're on a network that can reach the domain server. For example, if you usually use a VPN to reach your domain server, make sure you have VPN turned on. And alternatively, you can create a local user and then add that user to the local administrators group then you can log in and install as that local user. Now let's go back to the directory that contains our XE installation files and run setup exe. The installer will launch. Click the next button, accept the license agreement, press next. Make sure that the installation directory is where you want to install. And finally, enter a single password that will be used for the sys, system, and PDB admin accounts. On the summary screen, make sure that everything's okay and then press install. The installation should take about 20 or 30 minutes depending on your system configuration. The final screen contains connection strings for connecting to the database from the same system. When you're done, click the Finish button to end the installation. Now we are going to open SQL Plus and access the database. Click on the Start menu, locate the Oracle folder, and run SQL Plus. To connect, enter forward slash as sysdba and then press return. Note that whoever installed this database will automatically have sysdba privileges and will not have to connect with the password. Now we'll get a list of the pluggable databases in this system by typing select name from v dollar sign pdbs. And you can see that xcpdb1 is one of our pluggable databases. Then we'll connect to that pluggable database by saying connect sys slash password at host name colon the port number 1521 slash xcpdb1 as sysdba. Now let's create a new user in this pluggable database. So we'll type create user demo user identified by the password default table space users quota unlimited on users and then let's issue some grants so grant create session create table to demo user and finally let's connect to that user so we'll type connect demo user forward slash password 
at the host name colon the port number 1521 forward slash xcpdb1. And note that you can use this connection string format to connect to non-local databases. You would just need to change the host name to the name of the machine where the remote database is located. Now we'll create a table so we can test this out. So create table test table. Test column number. And then we'll insert a row into it. So insert into test table values 1111. We'll commit it. And now let's try selecting against it. Select star from test table. And you can see we get a result. Now I'm going to show how to start up and shut down the database using Windows Services. So go to the search bar and type in Services, and then click on the Services app to launch it. In the Services app, scroll down until you see the Oracle Service XE service, and you can right click on it and you'll see a menu there. And in the menu, you can choose Stop, to stop the database and similarly you can choose start to start the database and you can control whether or not the database automatically starts when Windows starts up by clicking on properties and then in the startup type choosing manual if you don't want the database to start up when Windows starts and automatic if you do And one final tip I'd like to share with you that might help you during troubleshooting is you can open up a command prompt and type lsnrctl status, listener control status. And this command will give you a lot of useful information, including the host name, the port number that the service is listening on. It'll give you some um, information about your listener parameter file and your listener log file and it'll show you the status of your various uh, services that are, are on your machine to make sure that they're working properly. And with that I'd like to thank you for watching my video and I sincerely hope it helped you install and get started using Oracle Database Express Edition on Windows. Have fun!